Indigomusic.com and you're joining me for an extra special Indigo experience session with the one and only Becky Hill all the way from the UK. Hi Becky, welcome to Indigomusic.com. Hi, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's such a pleasure and an honor. Now I know you've got lots to do so let's just dive straight in. I want to start at the moment where the world sat up and took note of Hill. When that moment when you stood up on stage at The Voice and you sang in front of Jessie J and Will I Am, and you were just starting out at that time. How did it feel getting on stage at The Voice UK and and singing that song? It was the most surreal moment probably of my life. I think, um, you know, I think it was like the first time I'd had any sort of recognition from anybody of of like a of a of that job. Um, yeah. You know, so it was, it was, it was, sorry, my dog's come to join me. Oh, that's um, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, it was, it was a real beautiful moment for me to actually feel like this is my, um, you know, this, this, this is a, is a possibility for me to do as a job. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, it was an incredible moment. And, um, you know, one I look back with, with a lot of fond memories. Now I have to ask, you chose John Legend's Ordinary People as your audition song. It's one of my favorites, so I just had to ask because it's my favorite. What made you choose that song for your audition? It was funny, when I decided to go to the public audition, so I wasn't poached by any of the producers, like I went down on my own accord. Yeah. Um, I remember I had an iPod at the time. Okay. And um, I was scrolling through my iPod on the train down to Birmingham to, to go to the audition. <laughs> and I was looking for a song to sing and that one just kind of stood out to me and I started writing the lyrics down on my hand. And I wow. remember going through three rounds of the public audition. And I remember the first round they pulled me out, uh, out, of, out of 10 people, there was like three of us that got to stay behind. And they went, you got an amazing voice, but why did you write the lyrics down? And I was like, well, I couldn't remember it. And that was the song that's, that I, I stayed with, you know, before the lives I realized that Will I Am had written the song. So <laughs> actually one, of, one of the judges had actually written, written Ordinary People, which was yeah. obviously a bonus. Um, <laughs> So, so yeah, it was kind of, it, it was a happy accident really, but one that I kind of went with throughout the whole time. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Amazing how that worked out. Now talk to us about Only Honest on the Weekend. I'm so curious, what inspired the title and then also the music behind the album? So there was a record that I wrote called Space, um, which has made it onto the deluxe version of Only Honest on the Weekend. And that was the first line of the record. Um, it's like we're only honest on their weekend, only when we're out our minds. And, and <laughs> when I released Space, it didn't actually do very well in the charts. Yeah. And um, I was really sad that it didn't do very well in the charts. So I decided, because I thought it was a really great song and it, it was one probably one of the most personal records that I've ever written. Um, and I just, I just felt like I needed to honor it. And I okay. named the album after after space um, and I've been writing it for nine years like since I joined the music industry um, I've always had like an album in mind and tried to um, you know try to try to go towards that goal so actually there's a lot of records on that um, album that that are from from many years ago as well as being quite recent Fantastic. Uh, speaking of 2022 now, you've had two uh, releases with Galantis and David Guetta and Ella Henderson. Uh, given the pandemic, congratulations on those two, by the way. Um, they're amazing. But I'm, I'm very curious to know, did production, I mean, and, and the release of these two kind of get delayed with the pandemic? Or was this just like recent works that came out pretty quick? Yeah, so... Um... Run, the record with Galantis was written in November last year. And um, I think, and Ella Henderson had written Crazy What Love Can Do. So, and I heard that about six weeks ago, two months ago. So they were all, they were quite fairly, they're fairly recent really. Okay, oh, well, that's great. Now we're talking about Crazy What Love Can Do, uh, congratulations on the engagement. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
and uh, talk to us about um, the craziest thing that love has made you do. Uh, whether it's 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 you know uh, platonic love, whatever kind of love. Uh, what is the craziest thing that love has made you do personally? I think when me and my partner split up a couple of years ago, we split up for about six months. Okay. Um, and I remember when he had got himself a new girlfriend in that time, and I stalked her online for quite a long time. <laughs> I tried to get like a internet hacker. Um, wow. <laughs> I tried to find somebody to hack her Instagram so I could like look at her pictures and compare myself to her. Luckily, I didn't find anybody, but really searched for a long time. Oh, well, I think it worked out in the best way possible. And we're yes. so happy for you. Um, and I've put the psychopath back in the box. <laughs> uh, now, singer, songwriter, podcast host, you've got many feathers in your cap. But any other talents that you kind of discovered in the pandemic? Because a lot of people discovered hidden talents that they didn't know they had because they had all this free time during the pandemic. Anything that you discovered about yourself? I I discovered that I can keep a dog alive, as um, <laughs> as you saw there, that was proof. We got a puppy um, in the middle of the pandemic and we had no experience of looking after a puppy before. And um, it kind of took three of us. It was like me, my partner and my best friend, because um, I went in and had vocal surgery and had to stay silent for three days, five wow. days, five days, I had to stay silent for five days. Um, so yeah, it was it was really intense, but she's still alive. She's a happy little dog. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a successful dog mom. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. No, no, I have to say I'm completely fangirling right here. This is such I I, I, see, I have to pinch myself to believe that I'm in conversation with you. Um, but as someone who's worked with so many artists and 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 done so much work in the music space. Do you have fangirl moments? I mean, anyone that you're completely awed by, have you run into them? What What's that been like? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a massive fan of a genre of uh, electronic music called drum and bass. Okay. And the one of the guys in drum and bass is like, he's, he's like the best drum and bass DJ that there is. And his name was Andy C. And I, I remember meeting Andy for the first time at a festival called Global Gathering. And I kind of like snuck, I was like, I was with, I was with, I was performing at the time and I snuck into his dressing room <laughs> and um, and he was there and I was like, oh my God, I, I, Andy, I'm such a big fan and, and I love your music and, and rah, rah, rah. And he was like looking at me and I could see his face being like looking at the door and looking at me thinking, how have you got back here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, um, sorry, I, I, I wrote Afterglow, I sing Afterglow, and he, his whole face changed. He was like, oh my God, and that, that was a really <laughs> big moment for me. So yeah, I still get fangirly. Wow, that's amazing, amazing. Now, of course, uh, talking to you all the way from India, I have to ask you about India. Have you been here? Have you visited India before? I've never had the chance to. I've always wanted to. I kind of did the other side of Asia. I did like Vietnam and Japan and um, Malaysia, but I never managed to get over to India. And that's that for me is is where I think I, I would love to go from top to bottom and, and explore India because it looks incredible. <laughs> well, we'd, we'd be happy to offer uh, tour guide services if you ever make it over here. <laughs> I will hold you to that. I will hold you to that. I look forward to it. Uh, now tell us about the future of uh, Becky Hill from a music perspective. What can fans expect uh, in, in the months and years to come? So I'm starting to write my second album now, which hopefully won't take nine years to write. Um, so I've got I've got my I've got all of my album stuff coming up which is amazing um, I'm working on new music with Joel Corey um, I'm looking to write my own single for the autumn I've got my I've got an Ibiza residency this year at Ibiza Rocks wow. um, loads and loads of festivals all over um, Europe and then I'm heading out to America to do some shows in September um, and then I'm getting my head down and really knuckling down for, for another album which I'm very excited about. We can't wait, we can't wait, we shall wait with bated breath. Before we let you go of course can't let you leave without singing any song of your choice, just a few lines. 
Oh, but just that voice. Oh my God, it's goosebumps. Amazing. <laughs> um, what do you want to hear? Anything you choose. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Anything you, it could be any, any of your favorite works, uh, any favorite, all time favorite songs from any other artist, whatever you want. So we run and we run and we run further away from love. What good will we become? Yeah, we run and we run and we run, losing the air in our lungs. What do we do about us? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Well, luckily, I would have usually have said no, but thank you. <laughs> that was amazing, Becky. Thank you, thank you, thank you is all I can say. And we wish you all the very best. Um, I heard about the uh, tent party that you want for your big day. And I hope that it happens in spectacular measures. <laughs> thank you so, so much. <laughs> Lovely to chat to you and meet you. You're such a... Lovely you're such to talk to you too. Thank sunshine. you so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. All the best.